Can I affirm to manifest my SP in the future? Can I do this? Can I say, will it come? Uh, I know it's happening. No, some people say you can't. Some people say you have to always affirm in the present moment and live in the wish fulfilled in the present moment. Otherwise, you will never get your desires. Guys, no, Let, let's talk about it. In today's video, hi by the way, my name is Neya, and in this channel I love to talk about esotericism, metaphysical uh, laws of this universe and so much more. So let's get into this video. In today's video I want to talk about, again, the law of expectancy but in relationship to an SP and to manifesting a special person or a specific person. If you guys don't know what the law of expectancy is, you can watch my other video entitled The Law of Expectancy and see you get what you're looking for to understand better another spiritual law that is out there. Essentially what the law of expectancy is, is that you receive by the universe, yes what you are, not what you want or what you need, but also, which is law of assumption, however you also receive what do you expect on a subconscious level. And many people don't want to hear this because they're saying, yeah, but I expected this manifestation to come in this particular time crunch and it didn't happen. Listen, Listen, we are talking about subconscious expectations. If you would have saturated your mind completely with the expectations of a specific thing, you wouldn't even have manifested that thing in that time crunch. And and it's just what it is. Now, if it didn't happen, just try again. The law of expectancy does work and it depends with your subconscious expectations, which are formed by your past, your memories and self-concept, as well as many other things like programming, things that you watch, things, quotes that you read on Instagram about relationship that are just BS, stuff like that, right? Because the subconscious mind is constantly recording. So pay attention to what you consume as content including Instagram bloody quotes about relationship which I've made a post about it um, you know it's kind of a rant here and there um, so in relationship to an SP many people and many of my clients and many people in general sometimes not always but sometimes it could happen that they struggle living in the end completely let's say living in the end of marriage or living in the end of being in a committed relationship with their partner living in the end of them even texting them because that's unusual for them they struggle with living in the end therefore in the wish fulfilled and when they affirm things in the present moment it sounds very much forced. Now, I am a huge believer that you can manifest anything in literally three to maximum six days because that's what Neville Goddard talked about in his famous books. He talked about, according also to the Bible, three days manifestation, maximum six with the seventh day being the Sabbath state where you rest and you can watch my video about the Sabbath state to understand better what I'm talking about. So you can manifest literally everything that you want really fast and I'm very much into a fortless manifestation. And because I'm personally into a fortless manifestation, now if you don't agree with me, you do you like if you believe in divine timing you believe that it takes a long time you do you that everyone is right okay but this is just my belief I believe in a fortless manifestation and in my belief and in my personal experience because everything that I teach comes from my personal experience the affirmations that once uh, the a person does have to be completely natural what do I mean by natural you are already a manifestation machine I cannot stress this enough you're constantly thinking thoughts that are natural to you you're constantly having inner conversations even with yourself so your affirmation in my humble opinion should sound like those thoughts that you already have and those inner conversation in what languages do in what language or languages do you speak in your mind how do you speak what type what type of wording do you use it's very pointless in my opinion to take affirmations that are coming from the internet because they are written by someone else which is not you and therefore even though they might work, they initially might sound a little bit forced unless you repeat them over and over and over again, they become more natural and then you 
they are natural again. You can also do that. However, remember that every single time that you have to um, reprogram or reimprint your subconscious mind, it's not hard. It's just done through repetition. But it might take like, let's say that you take an affirmations from the internet that doesn't sound like you, then you have to first go through the process of your mind getting used to that sentence. And then after your mind gets used to that sentence, then you start believing that sentence and you don't have to believe it 100%. However, you have to get accustomed to it and then once you get accustomed to it it creates a natural feeling all the stuff that I already talked about so I do not suggest this route not because it doesn't work but because there is an easier path and the easier path is to create your own affirmations to make them sound natural now the majority of people like I was mentioning before they struggle with the idea of affirming in the present tense because it just doesn't feel natural to them and most of the time it doesn't even feel natural to me now I got a little bit more used to it and I do affirm in the present tense however I want you to know that the love expectancy exists therefore if you affirm in the future tense it will manifest anyway and it's absolute rubbish the fact that certain people and I don't mean I don't even think that a lot of people did say this in this community but some people did say it that if you say everything will be fine then you are like you are delaying your goods in the future because you're constantly in the future this is just BS unless you believe that to be true it doesn't have to be true and it doesn't even make sense with the law of expectancy because like I said the law of expectancy is all about what what you want you're gonna get so how is that related to an SP this is related to an SP because let's say that you struggle saying oh he's my boyfriend he's she's my girlfriend um, we I we are together you really do struggle affirming that use the law of expectancy instead which I However, it's going to create an assumption through the through repetition. So you're both using law of assumption and law of expectancy at the same time. And what I'm, you're supposed to do is rather than forcing the sentence, uh, he's my boyfriend, she's my girlfriend, or we are in a committed relationship, he's begging me for a commitment and you just don't see movement and it just doesn't sound very believable. It sounds very forced to you. For some others, you might not, but to you, it sounds very forced. Just do this instead. Just say, I'm only expecting good, only good comes my way, and I know that we're gonna be together. I expect that. We are gonna be together. So, it does not matter what the 3D is showing me, it does not matter what it's going on, it does not matter if we argued and whatever happened, I know we will be together. And guys, I do this all the time. I told you I love the law of expectancy because I speak to myself very much in this way. Now. I, I also use the law of assumption. I mean, the law of expectancy will eventually create an assumption, okay? So it's both laws together. However, like, if I'm very worried about arguing, I argue with someone and I'm very worried about an outcome or I'm very worried about money because I'm human and that could happen, sometimes forcing a present tense affirmation for, to me just sounds so forced. So to ease my anxiety and worry, I'm just like, everything is going to be fine. Everything is fine, everything is wonderful, and everything is going to be fine. I'll be fine. And so by saying I'll be fine, it's, it's almost like I'm also, man, I'm also saying in my head, I reject this negative thought, I don't care, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And then when I'm ready, I also say I am fine. But I only say I am fine or I have the money or whatever when it feels natural and it doesn't feel forced. So with an SP, is the same thing. If they're not texting you, you argued with this person, you reacted to the 3D, you're freaking out. You're spiraling. Don't go into the present tense. Oh my God, he's my boyfriend. We are such in a happy, committed relationship because your mind is literally going to hijack you and like it's going to say no. No, you're not. So you see what I mean? It just creates resistance and then the more resistance is created and even though you don't believe, some of you don't believe in resistance, it just creates doubt or double-mindedness, right? In your head. And every single time the double-mindedness or doubt is created, the, the longer you stay there, the delay it's gonna happen. Why manifestation in three days or six days, maximum seven is possible? If you don't doubt it and if you just saturate your mind with visualizations or affirmations completely with your wish fulfilled.
So remind you, I'm gonna make a different video about this, maybe on Patreon, but remind yourself that every single time that you doubt, and the longer you stay in your doubt, your manifestation is still gonna come, but you're delaying it, delaying it, and delaying it, and delaying it every single time that you doubt. And bitch, I'm not getting any younger, so I don't know what you wanna do. And I know that you can affirm I'm getting younger and younger and younger, but guys, I don't know. I think you want your desire right now. Let's put it this way then, okay? So use the law of expectancy to manifest your SP when you feel triggered, when you feel that nothing will ever come your way, when you don't see movement, when it doesn't text you, when you have reacted to the 3D. Just say, I know we're gonna be together. I know we're gonna be together. It's a done deal. Like you would have booked a holiday. You know, like I am going to London this week for celebrating my birthday. I know I'm going to go to London. I am going to go to London. I got my apartment booked. I got my hotel ticket, the hotel tickets, my airplane tickets. I know I am going to London. Does that mean that I am not gonna manifest going to London or the week later going to Paris because I'm using the future tense? It's just rubbish. No, it's the law of expectancy. I am going to go to London and I'm gonna have an amazing time. Use the law of expectancy like you would book a holiday. Just say, I know we're gonna be together. I know we're gonna be together. And when it feels natural, you're less triggered, you're less reactive, you also possibly use the law of assumption and say, I know he loves me, I know he's committed to me. But do you see how if you build it up in a consistent and natural way, you will manifest it so much more effortlessly, you will doubt so much less, will indicate that your mind will get saturated a lot faster and you will get your results faster because you're not doing anything wrong. In my opinion, no one is doing anything wrong. In my opinion, you're just like, at the very least, you're delaying it a little bit by freaking out or maybe doing some behaviors or maybe because you didn't understand a lot of the laws of the universe yet, you're focused only on one method. You know, it's about experimenting and finding the way that is best for you while you guys like, you, you're, you're doing it. You guys are gonna be together. You guys are gonna be together. You're gonna be together with your SP, so you better be prepared. What are you preparing for? This is the law of expectancy. Prepare only for good. And in the moment that you have used the law of assumption, visualizations, or affirmations, and you have created your wonderful, amazing relationship with your special person or your SP, the only thing that you have to do is prepare for it. Prepare, go shopping some lingerie if you're a girl, even a boy, and I mean, and you're preparing for your boy to be at home with you. Or I don't know, just clean the house uh, just so you get prepared when he comes or she comes. Or do some, do something to prepare for it. Now I know that many people say, you don't have to, this is fake it until you make it. Guys, I'm not saying that you have to wear a ring on your finger if you're not married. I'm just saying clean the house. I'm saying buy some lingerie for yourself, have fun, buy some nice clothes, or don't buy anything, just dance and be happy and prepare for it. Whatever works for you, whatever feels more natural to you. I dance a lot and listen to music, I love that. The point, is not fake it until you make it, but it's to do something small, tiny, fun stuff to do that get the focus away from lack on top of it. You have fun with them and they just imply, I'm so happy I'm preparing for my SP to be with me. And it will get manifested because through the law of expectancy, what you prepare for, what you expect, it gets manifested. For instance, for some others of you, it could be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna order such a nice dinner for, for myself tonight because I'm so happy and I'm thankful for to the, my subconscious mind and to the universe because me and my SP are gonna be together. And so you celebrate. Or maybe you drink a little bit of champagne and you're like, oh, I'm celebrating because I'm finally engaged with my SP. Or I'm celebrating because we're getting married and you say this in your head. You saturate your mind with the expectancy that only good comes your way and you guys gonna be together so I'm telling you you guys are gonna be together you guys are gonna be together see what I'm doing that's what you should do as well and I love working with the law of expectancy plus the law of assumption because it just makes things so much easier however this is what I wanted to do today for you guys my patreon will have extra videos about this and many other topics including also a meditation to enter the blank state if you guys are interested in patreon my challenges and other 
fun stuff. I am going to be in London, like I said, so if you're used to my daily videos, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. I might skip this weekend videos, however, Patreon will be always uploaded. And as soon as I have time and I come back, I will go back to my normal schedule for those of you who are subscribers. And if you guys want an e-course about manifesting a specific person through my teachings that has worked for me for multiple people, the link is down below. It's obviously not mandatory, but it's an extra step. If you guys enjoy my content, you want to support this channel and you enjoy having a course with me where I explain you more about manifesting a specific person. And we also do a meditation together so it's a e-course plus a meditation together for the same price the link is down below i love you guys and i see you very soon on this channel bye